Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Conway Stewart pen for review and this was loaned to me by John at stjohnspens.com so I'd like to thank him for loaning me this pen. Now there are a number of Conway Stewarts. There is the original Conway Stewart that started in business in the 1920s, went on, finally closed its doors in 2014. There was then a second Conway Stewart, which is still going today, which is run by Bespoke British Pens. They bought up all of the original rod stock, or some of the rod stock, uh, the clips, the finials, the cap bands, uh, the boxes as well. And uh, they have, since uh, the closure of uh, Conway Stewart, been making Conway Stewart pens. And then there's this one, and this is Conway Stewart America or Conway Stewart USA, and this is a Series 100 pen. So if I remove this sleeve, and you'll see here it has the Conway Stewart logo again and another font. Something you also get in the box is this, and this is the Conway Stewart guarantee or warranty card, and it says Conway Stewart pens are guaranteed for 18 months against mechanical failures due to faulty material or workmanship. Now that's Conway Stewart USA, not the original Conway Stewart or the bespoke British Pens Conway Stewart. You also get this booklet and this booklet shows details about the original Conway Stewart, the pens that they used to make, the history of Conway Stewart, uh, the Larue and the original founders of Conway Stewart, Conway Stewart workers in the 1930s and the 1950s, the original building in London that actually got bombed in the Blitz, the new Conway Stewart model M100 that Manu had created uh, in Conway Stewart USA a number of years ago and I've not seen sold since uh, and it was left dormant, Conway Stewart USA was left dormant for a while and there's Manu. And he's now started to revive this by bringing out the Series 100 pens. So if I remove the lid, you'll see a pen slot here. And then you'll see the pen. And this has a medallion on there for Conway Stewart. I'll just remove that. And then you have the pen itself. Now this is a really beautiful material. Uh, this is... The, the actual pen is called the Conway Stewart Series 100 and the material is the blue Starry Night Spaghetti or Starry Night Spaghetti. Uh, this is a nice material. It has a black cap finial unlike most Conway Stewarts. But that material, it's a spaghetti material uh, like some of the other spaghetti resins. Uh, but this is a really nice material with sort of a a starry kind of night going on there um, you'll also see here the clip has Conway Stewart on it the cap band says Conway Stewart again in a different font not the original Conway Stewart font and if I unscrew the pen you'll see here this has a number six star size still nib and this has a laser engraved nib with the Conway Stewart logo. There's no nib width designation on this nib. Uh, it also has an ABS plastic feed as well. In terms of the size of my hand, the pen is actually quite nice. I can also post the cap if I want to, and it's very secure as well. Now, this is a cartridge converter pen. If I unscrew the pen here, you'll see the cartridge converter, you'll see these metal threads. There's also some brass threads there, very small set of brass threads, but it also rattles, and that is a counterweight. And in other Conway Stewart pens, certainly the Bespoke British pens versions, they would glue a metal counterweight into the body. Now this one is actually loose, so it kind of rattles around a little bit. So. But it does mean that you can remove that weight if you wanted to. Uh, I, uh, I would much rather that being glued into the pen. Once the pen 
is secured it's not rattling around um, but you will notice it when you go to clean the pen so I just thought I would mention that but the pen itself it's a nice pen it's a good size pen so I think with that we'll do a size check we'll do a weight check we'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample so the size of this pen is around 138 millimeters in length the cap itself is about 61 millimeters in length and then the length of the body from the tip of the tines we are looking around about 124 millimeters in length now in terms of weight we'll do a weight check the full weight of this pen with the counterweight in is just under 34 grams the weight of the cap is just over 8 grams and the weight of the body with the counterweight in is 24 grams and that is uninked so I think let's do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have a Visconti Kalido Voyager in the Yellow Dawn a Visconti Kalido Voyager in the forest green. We have a bespoke British Pens Conway Stewart Churchill in the blue stardust. A bespoke British Pens Conway Stewart Churchill in the red stardust. We have a bespoke British Pens Conway Stewart Series 100 in the red stardust. We have a Conway Stewart USA and this is in the Starry Night Spaghetti. We have a Visconti Divina and this is the Desert Spring a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl, we have a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red, and we have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Calseki. So, let's do a writing sample. This is the Conway Stewart USA, and this is the Series 100 and this is the Starry Night. And it's the Spaghetti. Now, this is a steel nib, not a gold nib. And I would say that this is more of a broad nib. Now, this one does come in a fine, medium or broad. Uh, the, the Series 100 from Conway Stewart USA. The ink in here I have is Mont Blanc and it's lavender purple. Now, this is quite a wet pen, you can see here. In terms of line variation, it's a still nib. It's about a broad line that I'm getting. I can push it a little bit hard to get a little bit more line variation, but it is a still nib. Now, this is a very very smooth nib there's no hard starts no skipping i'd say it's probably a bock nib because most of the pen family whether well, it's asc while ever sharp uh, most of their nibs are bock nibs so i suspect this is probably a bock nib but there's no nib designation on there in terms of wetness this is quite a wet pen So you can see there, this really is a nice writing pen. I'd like to thank John at stjohnspens.com for loaning me this pen for review. You can find John at stjohnspens.com and also St. John's Pens on Instagram. He also goes to all of the UK and European pen shows. So if you get a chance, check him out there. If you unfortunately can't get to a pen show, check him out at stjohnspens.com or at Sir John's Pens on Instagram. So this is my review of the Conway Stewart USA Series 100. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.